live welcome to another saturday evening welcome to the weekend i hope we are still uh, remembering yesterday's uh, conversation with father joe from mumbai as we continue to have our educational series day by day we'll now move to chennai to an important institution which is doing a lot of work in yoga and yoga therapy and so we invited uh, dr ilan gowan who is the professor and head of the yogic sciences and therapy department of minakshi university of higher education and research uh, it's an institute it is a deemed university dr ilan gowan has been running a very active program in tamil nadu instead uh, he is in fact known to be one of the first faculty and the head of the department of yogic sciences department in tamil nadu we are very happy to have you here dr ilan gowan uh, dr ilan gowan i'll give his uh, brief uh, summary he has been into teaching yogic sciences as a faculty for the last 37 years and for 15 or 16 years he has been doing active research and now setting up the department and taking it to new heights he has a strong faculty and he is uh, continuously doing a lot of uh, sir you are muted please unmute yourself dr akshay you are muted please unmute yourself sorry viewers sorry about this uh, i was alerted about the audio a little late and i kept speaking sorry about that in fact uh, the reason is because i am in face in front of a, a new camera and the audios and the videos are all configured in a new system so i seek your apology so we're moving to uh, from yesterday evening's rendezvous with father joe in mumbai now we'll move to chennai chennai has a distinct place in the uh, yoga related educational activities and there we have minakshi institute of higher education and research which is uh, which has a very active yoga sciences and therapy department which is headed by dr ilan gowan so dr ilan gowan is with us today welcome dr ilan gowan he has 37 years of uh, mm -hmm. teaching experience and 15 16 years of research experience he has served on several national uh, committees and is member of important committees uh, such as controller of examination finance committee and other important uh, decision making committees in the minakshi institute of uh, higher education and research uh this university this is a deemed university in tamil nadu and a very active one and spearheading lot of yoga related activities in tamil nadu in south india dr ilan gowan has a good strength of faculty and is also developing a new journal and uh, he is involved in many of the government's programs including ministry of ayush and he is also joined by a couple of colleagues that i see on the screen who are also welcome to this program today is a saturday evening and uh, we are continuing to do this educational series for last 118 and odd days and so we are very happy to have you here dr ilan gowan welcome to our program and he will be speaking on the scientific benefits of yoga practices so over to you dr ilan gowan uh, the the audience that we have here are healthcare workers physicians scientists and also some phd students and uh, the communication language is english because 15 to 20 to 25% of the people are international from latin america us uk so welcome and we look forward to hearing from you thank you good evening sir it gives me immense pleasure to be with you at this august gathering first of all let us let me go for prayer त्र्यंबकं यजामहे सुहंदिंबुश्रिवर्धन उर्वाजमीब बंदना मृत्योर्मुश्रियमृदयाद शांति 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 
I express my thanks to Dr. Akshay Anand sir. He is a great intellect, guiding light not only for the field of medicine, but also including yogic field. And I have to appreciate him for his laborious and extraordinary and excellent research-minded personality. So at the outset, I can say that he is a great karma yogi. So once again, I express my pronouns to him. And also my thanks to Prashant for having accommodated me here. I want to share a few things with you at this August juncture. You know, if any subject, whether it is yoga or biology or physics, chemistry, if any subject is to be called as a science, you know, science is the fact of grouping of knowledge that can be observed, tested, and measured. So if any subject is to be called as a science, it has to fulfill a few criteria. First of all, the subject should have universality. No doubt, yoga is embraced by more than 200 countries. And also, it should fulfill skepticism. Some doubts always should be there. And the third point is, you should have ethical neutrality. That is, there should be some do's and don'ts when you observe yogic practices. And also, the fourth point is communality. In that sense, you should produce some magicness. For example, if a person comes to you and he complains that he has diabetes, then if you ask him to do some yogic practices, then it being controlled by that person, the diabetic, then he feels that it is magic. And also disinterestedness, the fifth point is, that means it should produce the benefits to all, equality you have, it has to maintain. So in that five criterion, then only the subject will be considered as the sign. Now you, you can understand that yoga is the great sign. If you call yoga, it is a broader area. It is a way of life. It includes yogic practices. Of course, yogic practices are the dominant factor in yoga, as well as balanced sattvic diet. So when you think about yogic practices, there are so many practices that could be included, accommodated in yoga, kriya, prayer, then loosening the joints, surya namaskar, asanas, pranayama, bandhas, mudras, including meditation, and finally blessing. These are all the yogic practices we will consider in yoga. So each and every concept, we can find out the principles of science, very particularly the physiological benefits. You, the stalwarts of Jibmer Chandigarh, Now we are, in modern terms, we are calling it as science and also we need laboratory and we have to consider hypothesis, etc. In those days, 
the yogis, they used their own body as a laboratory. Now I can easily tell that Akshay Anand sir is a living laboratory in not only in medicine but also in yoga. So when we do kriyas, our autonomic nervous system will be activated. In this COVID-19 pandemic period, very particularly they are insisting Jalanati practice is good for the COVID-19 pandemic sufferers. So kriyas are very essential for certain aspects of diseases and disorders and very particularly needed for autonomic nervous system. When you recite prayers or mantras, they include java, ajava java, and also meditation, either in vashika or manasika. Now you could come across in newspapers the COVID-19 survivors, they used to tell, and they are telling in their interviews, that they have recited mantras, and mantras helped a lot. For your kind information, when you recite mantras or prayer, your medulla oblongata in the brain is will be activated. In turn, it activates hypothalamus. In turn, the hypothalamus produces the balanced segregation of krelin. That krelin promotes the hormone segregation of leptin. That leptin is very essential for digestive aspect, digestion. So in that way, prayers not only produce vibrations, that is, it can lead you from beta waves to delta waves, even for gamma waves. So they are not only needed for vibrations, so that your frontal area of your brain will be activated to overcome the stress very particularly. These mantras are very essential for digestive aspects also because it is being done in gut. That is very essential for your uh, present immunity promotion, immunity power promotion. So mantras are very essential. And at the same time, when you do loosening the joint practices, that is Pavana Muttasana series in Bigar School of Yoga, simple physical exercises, or that you can consider loosening the joints, joint freeing exercises. So these are all the words that we can find for that preliminary loosening practices, joint oriented practices. They are very essential and they have their own scientific benefits as because it promotes immunity power, it promotes your brain power, it helps for the segregation of synovial fluid and the hormone that is called relaxin and it removes the toxins, the, cart the cartilages are strengthened, ligaments and tendons are stretched when you do ordinary practices of these loosening exercises and also it is very essential for calcio-oxalic solidness will come out from the joint. It removes the solidness of the calcio-oxalic acidness. It will be removed so that you will be free. It promotes your flexibility. And very particularly, these, uh, these loosening the joint are very much essential for further practices. That is, it will be very easier. And also in the yogic concept, the yogic experts believe, we believe more on energy. So the energy can be 
preserved instead of the toxins that preservation will be happened in the in between the joint that's what we feel energy can be stored in the joints also so that much important this loosening exercise and also no need to explain about surya namaskar and asana two important concepts that it will help one is it promotes immunity power second one is the surya namaskar and asanas are very much needed for the segregation of this balanced mood elevating hormones and other hormones for your kind information at this covid 19 pandemic period we used to listen too much on immunity power in order to preserve or in order to promote in order to sustain or maintain this immunity power two important parts that much needed are thymus gland as well as the spleen part when you do surya namaskar and asanas because of the activation of the energy stored in mitochondria the thymus thymus gland secretes thymic hormones that is thymosin and thymoprotein these hormones produce dr akshay anand will agree these hormones help for the manufacturing or producing white blood cells that is part of and uh, the t cells are the part of the white cells so that you can promote your immunity power so the role of thymus gland is very essential and also the spleen there is a protein called macrophage will be produced that in turn the spleen area produces again the t cells part of white cell so when you do surya namaskar and asanas they produce t cells and the t cells will save others from corona virus so surya namaskar and asanas are very very essential and at the same time i want to tell you when you do surya namaskar and asanas your blood flow will be good so that the white blood cells can travel very easily throughout the body so you your health will be promoted so in that sense they are very very essential and no need to tell about pranayama practice and this covid 19 period the relaxative asanas are very helpful particularly magarasana is very helpful for the sufferers it is proven fact and also we can say the pranayama practices it is essential it is one of the focal point of that eight limbs of yoga so pranayama practices are very essential to promote immunity power to overcome diseases and we used to tell panjabudas the first four panjabudas except the space it will be controlled by pranayama practices it activates kundalini shakti also and also very particularly when you do pranayama practices your diaphragm will be perfectly in a functional state how pranayama is the focal point of ashtanga yoga this diaphragm is very essential for for your body functioning for your kind information i could see and read today's newspaper only 10% of the adults they are only 10% of the diaphragm are being used by adults and you know already 95% are shallow breathers like that 
10 percent adults only they use diaphragmic breathing that is abdominal breathing belly breathing belly breathing is very much needed it not only promotes your oxygen capacity but also for your breath also it can be controlled minimum breath you have to have if you want to be a divine person a common man should have six breaths in a minute in that sense pranayama plays a very vital major role and particularly this corona 19 pandemic sufferers ujjayi pranayama is good nadi shodhana pranayama is good and also sahaj pranayam biloma 2 pranayam and mild kapalabhati so this Pranayama practices promote your life force, very particularly the sufferers. Almost all are accepting. U.S. scientists, American scientists, all are advising, including Dr. Uh, uh, Deepak Chopra. Deep breathing practices are essential, they are telling. So in that sense, Pranayama has many scientific things. And also, you know, the bandha, without uh, bandhas, there is no that much benefit in pranayama practices as said by Adi Shankara. So, of course, bandhas are not much my, uh, that much advisable for corona survivors or corona, corona sufferers, but it is in general, it will activate your central nervous system, that is Sushmanadi. So that, for that purpose, we need bandha. And when you go for these mudras, it perfects the quality and form pressure of cerebrospinal fluid that promotes your, protects your central nervous system. That mudra can be done a great benefit. Very particularly, Mahamudra is very much needed as because it has all good qualities to promote your health. So when you come for this meditation, no need to tell your genes will be perfected, your biological clock will be perfected, among the Panjabudas, that the space quality will be perfected, so in that sense, meditation also very essential. You could have seen a week back from Ball State, Indiana University. What they are telling, the research findings show mindfulness meditation. If you do 10 minutes of mindfulness meditation, your important area in the brain, Magdala, that part will be activated so that you can be emotionally in a perfect state as well as your behavior, including your mind. Everything will be perfect. So mindfulness meditation and yoga nidra, these are all the practices much needed for this, uh, particularly the coronavirus attackers, I mean, that is separate. And uh, again, I want to tell you, within this week, there is an another research finding that we could find out. Virginia University, they are telling the eye exercises available in Bihar School of Yoga and simplified Kundalini Yoga practices of Vedatri Magarishi and others Simple eye exercises, if you do, 45% of your eye problems will be controlled or rectified or it will be slowed down your problems. Very particularly, glycoma, diabetic retinopathy, and also the abnormalities of the blood vessels will be controlled. So eye exercises are very much needed. So if you go through all these aspects, physiologically, 
and medical professionals also nowadays they are advocating the yogic practices and very particularly even yoga experts we have our own reservations on this yoga therapeutic area of infectious diseases you could have uh, known that uh, the anand from pandicherry doctor he used to tell that yoga is energy mind and body medicine so infectious diseases also it is very much essential this yogic practice so if we go through all these concepts and very particularly we can't forget the role of balanced sattvic diet if you combine all these two and very particularly for women yogic practices are very much needed at this problematic period lockdown period if they do yogic practices their secretion of estrogen appeal in endorphins relaxin all these hormones will be get balanced secretion very particularly the pregnant women can be have safer metabolic health including their fetus as well as the pregnant women so that much scientific and physiological benefits we are having by these practices yogic practices at the outset what i want to tell you generally we used to tell yoga is preventive curative and rehabilitative but what i want to tell you though it is rehabilitative though it is curative we have to adopt ourselves for preventive measures that was that's why thiruvalluvar a tamil poet he used to tell you have to protect your life prevention you have to keep the concept of prevention in your mind based on the prevention is better than cure what he tells if you put a sack on fire what it will be happened in that hay sack the same thing your life also will be affected if you don't follow the preventive concept you take example of this covid-19 pandemic sufferers they can be relieved from the hospital suppose if they are in icu if the patients they became normal and if they come out from the hospital now the scientists and the doctors what they are feeling the aftermath of the problem will be more though they may be protected protected by this corona virus but the side effects they have to face a lot they are telling heart problem stroke pain stress and the amputation of leg or fingers so these are all the problems they have to undergo though we declare that they are all saved from this covid-19 pandemic so my humble suggestion is prevention is better than cure in order to have the prevention you please keep carry on the yogic practices so at the outset what i want to tell you it is a pleasure for the sun to give light it is pleasure for the moon to give coolness it is pleasure for the flowers to give its fragrance it is pleasure for the clouds to pour rain it is pleasure for yoga to give life force and happiness to you so that is the secret of your 
success of the life if you follow and do yogic practices. So at this juncture, I express my sincere thanks to Dr. Akshay Ansar, the greatest educationist, the greatest karma yogi and jnana yogi for having given this fantastic opportunity. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, one and all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ilan Govan, for a very Thank comprehensive you, and uh, yeah, we will come to the questions. Uh, I note that Dr. Ilan Govan is a very popular head of the department. He is joined by so many faculty members. Uh, we've been having many, many speakers from various parts of the world. But it's very great. It is really heartening to see that a lot of your faculty members have turned up, which is very good. We will have a short question and ask the session, but let me congratulate you, Dr. Ilango, and for uh, giving a very integrated uh, view of the various asanas, its effect on hormones, and the latest uh, research that you brought out, the Pavan Mukta series, and then the mudras, and bandhas, and of course, the emphasis on pranayama. And I can see a host of books at your background. Seems that you do a lot of reading also. So thank you for thank joining you. and thank sparing time and coming live thank with you. us. I'm sure our viewers have gained a lot of um, information and thank you for your kind words for our group. This is important uh, fuel for us to carry on with the educational series and uh, carry on more deeper and deeper research. Uh, let's take some questions on the Facebook. And uh, one of the questions that I can read out from the Facebook just before coming live with you is from uh, Kamla Divan, Dr. Kamla Divan. She wants to uh, ask if the mudras can be done with pranayama simultaneously. Do you want to answer that? So that uh, what I told regarding Maha Mudra, but when you go for Nadi Shodhana, I mean uh, that uh, Nadi Shodhana and uh, Ujjayi like that pranayama, you ought to go for these uh, mudras very particularly Jnana Mudra and other Mudras. But what I want to tell you, if you want to do Maha Mudra, it is better you do after Surya Namaskar, Asanas and Pranayama, then you go for Maha Mudra. After Maha Mudra, minimum three rounds, then you can go for meditation. So, this uh, very particularly this maha mudra can be done after pranayama that is in between pranayama practices and the meditation so i think this information will be used for useful for uh, kamla divanji there's another question from mr roshan lal uh, i think he is in the is probably from the facebook i can guess from our yo local yoga college in sector 23 He's asking if meditation and yoga can bring change in the thought process. Do you think that yeah, is definitely. so? If so, maybe you can reflect it. Because the mind is known as the grouping of the grouping of thoughts. That is a group of cognitive capabilities. In yoga, what we tell Approximately 50 to 60,000 thoughts will come each and every day. When you do yogic practices, thought process will be less. If the thought processes are very less, it is very easily to be at samadhi state. So in order to have the samadhi state, your thoughts should be less. Your breath should be less. For that, yogi practices, very particularly the meditation, will definitely help you a lot. I think that is a very important point you brought out, that as it calms down the mind and slows the mind, it gives you more time to reflect on yourself and to transform yourself and to bring changes. That's a very, very good connection. In fact, when we write papers, we should introduce this argument in our discussions. If the papers focus on neurobehavioral changes that we study, 
after yoga protocol intervention. Uh, yes, so now sir. we'll move to your own faculty and our own yoga scholars who are at the back helping out in our program. Prashant or Kalyan or any of you want to ask uh, any question uh, before we move to his huge faculty who are on the screen? Uh, sir, faculty A.M. Parvati wants you to ask some questions. Okay, okay. Please go sir, ahead, Dr. Evening. Parvati. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, you good told evening. regarding Bastrika uh, to do lower forcible Bastrika, not forcible Bastrika. May I know the reason? Pardon, I have some uh, difficulty okay, in listening your words. Uh, sir, Bastrika, asking, sir? Bastrika, regarding Bastrika, you said uh, okay. no need to do forcible Bastrika. May I know the uh, reason? No. I, I told Kabalabhati. I didn't tell about uh, Bastrika. Uh, ah, yeah. Kabalabhati uh, uh, and Bastrika, but they are all little bit advanced practices. But according to Ramdev, Swami Ramdev, we can do mild Kabalabhati. That is, Slow Kabalabhati that will activate your diaphragm so that you the diaphragm, the activation and flexibility of the diaphragm will help you to have more air in your lungs so that the oxygen consumption and this uh, gas exchange will be very easily be done in lungs. So, mild Kabalabhati because Kabalabhati is very essential to remove or to overcome or to eliminate the toxins in the body. As far as yoga scriptures are concerned, 21 types of toxins can be gathered in the body. So the toxins will be eliminated. The toxins will be eliminated by doing this mild kapalas. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So with Thank the bhastrika, you, you can carry on with your forceful breathing. Uh, I want to apologize for a uh, misidentification of uh, one of the Facebook viewers. This is the question that person asked you about the thought process does not come from Roshan Lal, it is from Rita. So uh, this was Rita Isaac, and I wrongly assumed that this was Roshan. Sorry about that. Uh, more questions from your faculty about uh, this. While they think, I would like to also... Uh, you request Dr. Ilan Gowan to inspire their faculty to also uh, consider coming to our program uh, in the days to come, and especially on Trataka, because you mentioned there is a study that helps in the, that is uh, oriented towards the eye movement. I guess it, you were mentioning the Trataka. If someone can come yes, and sir. talk about that from your faculty on other yes, subject, that will be wonderful. We'll be grateful. So before and, uh, concluding, other questions from I anybody in the please go ahead i request uh, the listeners i request that uh, jibmer yoga scholars you please because the yoga field is being considered as experiential science nowadays so many research findings are coming out so you are inspired by that and there is a great chance you have, and uh, it will be definitely a helping hand for the society to understand yoga. I request you all to do under the able guidance of our Akshay Anand sir, to do more experimental sciences, experimental studies in yoga along with your medicine so that you can be a lot to help the society. So once again, I express my thanks to our Akshay Anand sir. He is a great source of energy and motivation. And I have seen particularly uh, in his presence at many places, including uh, last year's uh, IOA conference at Delhi. Such a great person you can't find out anywhere. Great research scholar, research researcher. And we are very fortunate he is in India very particularly related to yoga. So let us use Dr. Akshay Anand's services for promoting yoga. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. 
Thank you for your kind words. And I'm always available to anybody of your faculty, in fact, anybody around the world to do anything, contribute, collaborate. We have a very good team who gives all the backup and I'm indebted to them, in fact, and acknowledge their being around and always available for execution of the projects. Now, moving on to your other faculty members, are there uh, any pressing questions from your other faculty members who are on the panel in really a big group? Again, acknowledging their presence. Sir, you asked to say about Krataka. You asked to say about Krataka. Yes. Sir, can I say? Krataka uh, also can be done along with all other uh, eye exercises. That eye exercises are available in the uh, simple physical exercises of Veda 3 and also available for Bihar School of Yoga practices. And it can be that these eye exercises can be promoted by ordinary eye exercises as well as Kataka meditation. Both will be beneficial too. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, both of you, one for asking the question and Dr. Ilango one for answering that. Prashant, do you want to ask anything or you see anything on the Facebook? Because I'm using the new configuration, it's uh, not so easy for me to read out from the Facebook. In between, I can, but maybe you can do this for me. Yes, sir. Uh, I am seeing in Facebook. Uh, my... oh, one minute, and, sir. Uh, we hope that Dr. Ilan Govan will depute his uh, and request his faculty to come and speak to this forum through which we can take it to the world and inspire people to publish new articles, especially uh, case reports, uh, because this is the platform for integrative and medicine case reports, whose acronym is Yoga Scholars PGIMEA. And we look forward to more and more research articles, more submissions. So with that, we will thank Dr. Ilan Govan for making it to our program. I'm sure our audience really enjoyed your presence and thank you for coming live with a great strength of our faculty. We'll close this program now. We'll send you the link and which you can share with more and more people so that they can benefit from it. Namaste. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.